Good morning and welcome to you on this 6th of August 2020 and it is the feast of the transfiguration of our Lord today. So just a brief word about that. The story of the transfiguration of Jesus on the Mount is told in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke and Peter refers to it in his second epistle. Each time it is made clear that God's salvation is for all and Christ is the one who brings that salvation. The testimony of the law and the prophets to Jesus are given by the presence of Moses and Elijah and the event also prefigures the resurrection giving a foretaste of the life of glory. So that's a little bit about the transfiguration there. And our readings today will also, our lectionary readings are for the Transfiguration. So as we draw together on this day. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let all the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, call upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your words, seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, lead me on a level path, because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries, for false witness have risen up against me and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. God, our light and our salvation, Illuminate our lives that we may see your goodness in the land of the living. 
and looking on your beauty may be changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. So our first reading this morning is from Ecclesiasticus and it's chapter 48 verses 1 to 10. Then Elijah arose, a prophet like fire, and his word burned like a torch. He brought a famine upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens, and also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You raised a corpse from death, and from Hades by the word of the Most High. You sent kings down to destruction and famous men from their sick beds. You heard rebuke at Sinai and judgments of vengeance at Horeb. You anointed kings to inflict retribution and prophets to succeed you. You were taken up by a whirlwind of fire in a chariot with horses of fire. At the appointed time, it is written, you are destined to calm the wrath of God before it breaks out in fury, to turn the hearts of parents to their children and to restore the tribes of Jacob. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for our canticle. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for ever and ever, for yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, our God and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Our second reading this morning is taken from John, well, the book of John. It's 1 John 3, verses 1 to 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, what we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do not know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is, and all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. And now for the Benedictus. Christ, who is the very image of the Father, was revealed in glory upon the holy mountain. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ, who is the very image of the Father, was revealed in glory upon the holy mountain. Let us pray. As we come together in prayer this morning, we lift to you, O Lord, the people at this time of Lebanon. For the residents of Beirut, and for all those throughout that country who mourn the loss of loved ones through that huge explosion at the port. We pray for those who are continuing to look for those that may still be alive. And we pray particularly for those who mourn the loss of loved ones and for so, so many that have been injured. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray, O Lord, for the day that lies ahead. For any meetings that we may have, conversations that we might have. If we're out and about, people that we may by chance bump into in the street, remaining ever mindful of those who are shielding at home. For the phone calls, the tea in the garden, we give thanks, Lord, for our families and friends who throughout this time have offered us support as we support others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue at this time to pray for our church, for Justin, our Archbishop, for Rose, our Bishop, and for all those who are involved in the ongoing provision of guidance to ensure that we worship in a safe place. We pray for Joe, our Archdeacon, for our ministry team here in Canterbury, and for all those lay and ordained who minister to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our government, for wisdom for all in authority. For those who are working so hard behind the scenes. We pray particularly for those who are preparing for our schools and the continual uncertainty involved there. And we continue to pray for all those retail hospitality outlets keeping on our hearts and minds, particularly our Marlowe Theatre, and for all the staff there. For those whose jobs are uncertain, <clears throat> for those who are furloughed and don't know what the future may hold, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray, O oh Lord, that your light, that light of the transfiguration, may be found in places where there is trouble, 
where there is conflict and hatred. May your light shine, O Lord. Where there is war, may there be peace. Where there is famine, may there be food. Where there is drought, may there be rains. We pray, O oh Lord, for all those involved with charity work, for those who support charities, and for those who are on the ground working for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to hold in mind all those who've asked for our prayers today. For all those who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. For those that are unwell. Those who are recovering from this virus. And in a moment of quiet, we name on our hearts those who ask for prayer for today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And at this time, O oh Lord, we pray for all those who've gone before us, for those whose anniversaries may fall at this time, for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, and for those who may be preparing for funerals. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now for our collect for today. Father in heaven, whose Son Jesus Christ was wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses upon the holy mountain and spoke of the exodus he would accomplish at Jerusalem, give us strength so to hear his voice and bear our cross that in the world to come we may see him as he is, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you, and all those you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. God bless you all. Lovely that you've been able to join us this morning for morning prayer. Um, whatever you do today, please keep safe, keep well, keep connected and keep praying. May see you tonight for night prayer at seven. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow morning at nine and God bless and have a good day. Bye-bye for now. Bye.